So I'm down here at the Jersey Shore to shoot a pool series. And I gotta say, it is just a great place to be. Very bright though. So I'm wearing my shade trees. Uh, make fantastic wood frame sunglasses with polarized lenses. I love them, they're great. If you like them, if you wanna check them out, they make them in a lot of different styles. If you're interested, swing by their website. You'll find a link in the show description underneath it. This is Chaser. I'm gonna make some ginger syrup. All right, so I'm here in uh, my outdoor kitchen, which is a grill. That's all I need for this. I'm gonna need a pot uh, and a heat source, nothing very fancy. Uh, the other ingredient is gonna be ginger, and this is just nothing more than about a pound of ginger root. I hope it's about a pound. Um, and some water and uh, some sugar. And I'm gonna use demerara sugar for this. Um, you don't have to, uh, but there's no, the ginger syrup is not gonna be clear in color anyway. And for me, if a syrup is going to come out less than clear, you may as well use demerara or, or a less washed syrup. Uh, it's gonna have a little bit more character. Uh, if you really want clarity in that and you want to accentuate the kind of color, uh, in that case, maybe I wouldn't use this. But for this, this is kind of what I wanna do here. Um, and so the first step, is very simple. We're going to break this into manageable pieces, uh, the whole thing, and then we're going to peel it. So I've broke the ginger into manageable parts and uh, I've got a little garbage can outside of frame so I'm not just dropping this on the floor. Take the spoon, rub it along the side of the ginger and the peel will come right off. I don't know of anything else where a spoon is the ideal peeler, but for ginger this is the best. You see that coming right off? A peeler here would take to, would actually get bogged down in the fibers. And because we're going to pour this through a filter anyway, um, if we don't get all the skin off, it really doesn't matter. I've peeled all my ginger, as you can see, and what I'm going to do is cut this ginger into, you know, discs, little pieces like this. Nothing, you don't have to go crazy with this. I'm also going to do something that I don't always recommend or don't always do. I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to grate it whole straight into there. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I want my ginger syrup to be really hot and what we're doing here with cutting up little bits of root like this we're going to simmer it and it's going to leach some of its flavor a lot of its flavor into our syrup um, but what if it doesn't leach enough what if you really want that extreme ginger heat because you're going to use this in a way that gets really diluted well actually grating or blending or juicing the ginger into it that'll achieve that the one downside to that and this is why i don't always do it and don't always recommend it is that it will make a syrup that is going to go bad faster in the fridge most of my syrups are going to last three months to be frank i mean like a, a simple inverse syrup is going to last a very long time uh, one of the questions i get a lot is how do i know when my syrups have gone bad they will grow white mold there will be mold floating on top of the syrup that's when it goes bad. Um, this will almost certainly have sediment in the bottle after 24 hours to shake it back up. That's not mold. That's uh, food and ginger particles that are falling out of solution. It's also, that sucked. This will never make the cut. All right, and so this is the piece I'm gonna grate. So I'm gonna add two cups of sugar to this. One, two. And I'm gonna do something a little weird. Okay, so there's my sugar in there. Now I'm gonna add one cup of water, as if I was doing an inverse simple syrup. Okay, and I just wanna look in there, shake that up, just kind of mix that up a little bit. All I'm looking for right now is my water line. I added a cup of water to this, to two cups of sugar, uh, which is the ratio for an inverse simple syrup, which is where we wanna end up. But I have to cook this for a long time. We're gonna lose Quite a bit of water at least a cup of water and so what i wanted to see was where is the water line that i'm going to end up with with this pot with this ginger and i can look at it with my eye i can stick a knife in there and say oh okay right to about there and now i know that when i get there after simmering for quite a while it's done and so now i can add the rest of my water i'm actually going to add a whole extra cup of water maybe a cup and a half even so now i've got two cups of sugar uh, two and a half cups of water, but we're gonna cook the water down to one cup. Uh, the other thing we're gonna do is I'm now gonna take this last bit of ginger and just grate it directly in there. If you had a juicer, you could use that instead, but we're just gonna do it this way. And this is just to make sure that we really get this thing hot. I want hot ginger, because what we're gonna use it is it's gonna get diluted, 
Uh, you could take this and just add seltzer to it, and all of a sudden now you've got really nice, uh, almost ca uh, Caribbean style ginger beer. I mean, a ginger beer should be actually fermented. We're not doing that. We're just making a ginger syrup, but you probably won't notice the difference <laughs> if you're just drinking it. Uh, we can make some really good um, Moscow mules or any kind of mules or anything with ginger, a ginger and Jack, a ginger and soda, ginger and ginger and ginger, King's ginger, 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 ginger minge, ginger. That's a, she's a drag queen, right? Ginger Minj? Yeah, she's a drag queen. Uh, a ginger Ginger. Ginger Twist. Ginger G Ginger Rogers? That's not a cocktail, but it could be. Maybe it is. Uh, she had to do everything What's his name did backwards and in heels. But um dum But he was also dancing backwards a lot. Fred was a nice guy. All right, that's probably all I'm gonna get out of that. And now what I just wanna do is, oh, look at that. All that ginger is just sitting there. Boom! Boom! Uh, and, you know, kind of make sure you get all that, as much of that as you can. It's going to, the, the fibers are kind of biting. I'm just going to give that a quick stir. Put it on my stove here, which is a grill in this case, because we are outside. And we're just going to let that uh, get real hot, start to simmer, back it off, let it keep simmering until that water line is down to where I wanted it to be. And this syrup is ready to strain. Take a look in there. Does that look? Looks pretty good, very thick, right? Um, so I've got my clean bottle, and this guy, it's called a funnel, this guy. And we're just gonna do that. We're just gonna funnel this right into there. Now you might have an instinct that you want to more aggressively filter this, like through a, um, I don't know, uh, through like a coffee filter or something. You kind of don't, you, you sort of want those little particulates in there because that's what gives it its heat. That's what makes it ginger syrup. It's a little time consuming. And you know what's fun about this too? See that? This is a piece of ginger. It's now completely edible. And actually what you can do, I've done this before, is you can dry them out in an oven. Oh, they're delicious too. You can take those and put them on a um, like a bit of wax paper or one of those silicone mats, put it in your oven, real low temperature, desiccate it, and you make yourself nice ginger candy garnishes. Ah! So that's drained. Now what I might do under better circumstances is grab a cheesecloth, throw that all into a cheesecloth and really squeeze it. Um, and maybe when the camera stops rolling, I'll dig out one, but I don't have one on me right now, so it's fine. There's our ginger syrup. What can we do with ginger syrup? Well, bit there in a glass, a little seltzer, quick stir, basically that's homemade ginger beer for if you're having a party or something like that and you got some designated drivers coming by, uh, people who want to enjoy some of your homemade uh, mixology but have to drive later. Is oh if you like the show, I hope you subscribe. I tweeted how to drink. I'm on Instagram at how to drink. I have a Patreon. And if you check uh, that out, you'll find some behind the scenes stuff and extras and all kinds of things. I do my best. I try to get back to your comments. I hope you like the show. Um, and uh, do me a favor, check out Shade Tree. Link right below the video, down there in the description of the video. Uh, and I'll see you guys on Friday. Another cocktail on how to drink. Sometimes you don't got a spoon handy, you got to use a knife. We'll call that the Jersey Special.